He was answering the questions. In contradiction to the generous APC candidate who went there and shared all the questions. You know, I'm not the Labour Party spokesman. You don't reply Tinibu with us, AP to be this stingy for not sharing phones, not sharing money. Just listen to the interview, may hear the way they reply. Farmers, how significant do you think this appearance on these uh, attendance is for the Labour Party and the chances of Peter will be that he ticket? Oh, well, his appearance today at Chatham House is not just an appearance that will further Labour Party or further his candidacy. His appearance has projected Nigeria as a pride of the black race, has projected Nigeria for what it is, the giant of Africa. I am so proud of my principal, who was so stingy that he went to Chatham House and refused to share questions. He was answering the questions. In contradiction to the generous APC candidate who went there and shared all the questions for other people to answer. And that marks the basis of what he is talking about leadership. He was able to pinpoint Nigerian problem to leadership. When he told you that the landmass of Niger State, which is about 76 kilometers square meter, more than the whole land of Netherlands, and Netherlands is making hundreds of billions of dollars in agricultural products only, yet Niger State, under the on watchful eyes of APC, most like six local governments are under the management of terrorists, a place that would have been giving us food security. But the federal government says that there's no such thing. What do you want them to tell you? You want me to tell you about my friend in KB State that couldn't attend his mother's burial, his sister's burial, because they told him not to come because terrorists are in charge of his state. You still want me to repeat about the security situation we are in now, where Reverend Fathers are roasted in the same Niger state that they are claiming such a thing is not happening. You are the one who told me about the Enugu state. People now being roasted. It has now climbed from being an, a bad government to an evil government to no effective government at all. We don't have effective government in Nigeria as I talk to you today. So my principal went to Chatham House to tell you about a new Nigeria that is about to unfold. You saw him talk about the security and uniting Nigeria. But there's something that is very, very elating when he was talking about security and uniting Nigeria. He said there will be an integration of the activities of the national intelligence and the security agencies. You are here in Nigeria. We are after 44 intelligence reports that terrorists are about to attack Kujé prison. Nothing was done until they were attacked. 61 terrorists released and none of them suffered any casualty after killing our officers. Why? There is no integration between the national intelligence and the security agencies. My principal has told you that there is going to be an effective legal and institutional reforms that will ensure that such things will be eliminated. He talked about establishing a national command and control center for coordination of the activities of the intelligence and the security agencies and that so, will I mean, effectively yeah, because, uh, manage actionable so intelligence. Those who, so some of those who listened and were critical about this.